We're here at the Richmond Raceway for race number two. Matthew Loken sits on the pole for the second straight race. Alongside him is Casey Nanko in the sixth car. Here's the full qualifying results. Don't think uh, there's any ties. This is, looks like that's the closest. And yeah, we'll I'll take you to trackside. So, after a... Pretty uh, calm race at uh, Five Flags Speedway. Mitchell Collins is the points leader, getting second in the stage and winning the race. 60 points gained for him. Cost Drivers, start your engines! Alright, there he is, the race command. Field is set, rolling right off. So I mistakenly said in the Five Flags race I we're gonna go to Bristol, but uh, no, it's actually Richmond. We're going to Richmond. The Bristol doubleheader is. No, I don't have. Okay. But all right, here we go. Pace cars in, getting ready for the green. Matthew Logan will lead the field to the line once again. Green flag waves and a great start, and we're underway here at Richmond. Three wide back there. But plenty of room, the 9 to double zero and the 40. Almost cleared the 9 car going into turn 3. And Matthew Logan will come around and leave lap number 1. Four wide, four wide. Still four wide, not like three and a half wide. And they all made it through. See a battle for the race lead up here. Here goes the 89 car, Dick Wild Jr. On the inside. Coming to the stripe, Matthew Logan will beat him to the line. Still got the inside line, no he doesn't. Logan cuts back down, holds, holds the bottom. The seven car here on the outside. Battling the nine car, the rookie. Oh, got a car on the wall. Got a couple cars gone around. Yellow is out. I think the leader beat the uh, caution flag. Yes, he did. Racing it back to the line. All right. So, Matthew Logan, he'll come around. He'll take the yellow flag. First caution of the day, we'll take a look at the replay. Alright, back here we see uh, David Davison in the 68. He comes down, almost got the 54 clear, kind of misjudged that, looks like yeah, just probably like an inch or maybe less than that, half an inch away. He goes around, tags a 62-12 to 12 car, also going around, he smacks the outside wall with the right side. And uh, yeah, pretty uh, small wreck here. Let's see the 12 car here. Let's get a one car on the. Uh, yeah, they're all checking up, and then 12 car gets hooked. He ends up going around. So a three car wreck, or pretty much. Uh, we'll take you back to the restart. Lights are off. Getting ready for the green. The 05 car has a gearbox failure. So he's the first one out of the race. Here we go, green flag waves, another good start for the O2, we're back underway. Hoping for another, for a better race here, even though that comeback he did. At least getting a top 10, a really big lead, what a start, 89 didn't get going at all. Six car to the inside, three wide for second now to seven on the inside. 89 across the line first that time. And he clears him. Nope, not clear. Only cleared a six car. Seven still there on the bottom. Now I got by the seven car. Still remaining in second. Three quarters of a second lead. The O2 car has. 
Three wide, three wide. Doesn't last for long though, but at least between these two. Three wide over here. That didn't last for long either. And the outside line has uh, proven to be a preferred, as I guess it's kind of the preferred line. Although most will still run the bottom, as it is the shorter way around, and who knows. Might be able to make a pass here. Yeah, the older Richmond, the bottom line was the way to go. But the older the surface, well, when the surface uh, gets a little older, it's usually the outside line that can uh, play a part. Sometimes. See, Auto Club, uh, right now here at Richmond. Sometimes Atlanta. Some, uh, New Hampshire, that's another one. Well, it usually happens on the flatter tracks as well. It doesn't have to be an old surface. So it's still about three quarters. 89 car trying to wheel him in. Eight tenths now. I was gonna hold up these, hold these guys back if they can. Almost at the stage. Seven tenths now. Closing in fairly slowly. Here at the back of the pack, see a three wide battle for uh, 32nd. No, should be a 30th. Yeah. I just looked at the thing and just said it. Cut the gap by a very tiny bit this time. The old Monte Carlo SS. 89's in the old Ford Fusion. The 5 card is in a weirder Ford Fusion. It doesn't look like a Fusion at all. A big run on the outside. See that 7 car? Huge run. He cut, quickly cuts to the bottom. See if he can get another spot. Dick Wild goes to the outside. Yeah, and he uh, able to clear him. Able to pull away just like that. Here goes a 5 on the, on the bottom. And the bottom line work. I think the O2 will get this stage. Alright, so. Waiting on the last car to come around to Get across the line. Okay, better do this quick. Oh, wait, right. Oh, shit. Okay, damn. Hang on. Oh, wait, I did, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. It's yellow. Damn dollar sign. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's on me. So the stage comes a lap later. So this will be the stage yellow. It'll be Matthew Logan and pretty much the same. Alright, so uh, so Matthew Logan, the stage winner. Dick Wild Jr. is second. Sam and Oscan third. Stepan Oaks fourth. Snow Chaser fifth. Casey Nanko sixth. Rain Dancer seventh. Ben Crouch eighth. The 01 car ninth. And getting the final stage point. Will be Lucas C in a double zero. All right, so there's pretty much. Oh wait, wait! Oh, we got a car up in smoke. It's a two car. Michael Brown and engine, engine on a two car. Yeah, he's just limping across right now. So okay. So our second yellow stage yellow. And uh, yeah, there's nothing to review here, so uh, we'll skip you to the restart. Alright, so the official word is the header has gone out on Michael Brown's number two car. So he is out of here, joining the 05. Hang on a minute. Okay, never mind. Here we go, green flag. 
We're back underway. Got a small jump this time. Not too far out. 89 car has been the only one to challenge the O2. He picks to the outside. There he goes. He's going to take the top. Can he get that run? Not too far out to get that run. Right on his back bumper this time. Inside, down the back straightaway. Also a battle for third back there. Can he get him? Side by side, holding his line. O2 will come around, he'll still lead. Can he clear him in a turn one? No, he can't. Still side by side here, not letting up. Now he's clear. Oh, it drives it in there deep into three. Staying with him. Got one of ten laps to go here, Richmond. Peeking to the outside once again. He'll take the top. Might be able to do it this time. If he can just get his nose out there, force that 0-2 on the, on the bottom, and he does. Still led that lap though. And there goes Dick Wall Jr. And no, not clear yet. Matthew Logan on the inside, staying even with him. Can the 7 car join the party? Let's see what these guys will, would do. Still side by side. And at the line this time, I can't tell from that one. 89 car. First lead change of the race and the O2 clears him into one. A bit of a hiccup there. He just led his first lap of the night and he just fell back. There goes the five on the inside. Seven car also. There he goes to the inside. So now that puts Sam and Oscan to second. Very clean race here, Richmond. Very clean. Only got that one crash, and that was it. Six laps remaining. Can Oscan close in? Can the five hang on? Will we get a late race yellow? We might. I could. Nah. Five to go. Five to go for the O2. Yeah, it won't be a perfect race, but he will get max points if he were to win this one. So, leading a lap, leading the most. Stage win and the race win. That all but one. Here they go. Four to go. Oscan doing the best he can, but I think he's just going to hold off Dick Wall Jr. for a second. But anything can happen here. Three laps to go. Caution! Caution flag is out. Alright, we're going into overtime. Okay, so the O2 leads. We'll take a look at the replay. So it's a double zero car all the way back in 11th. He cuts down in front of the 57 and goes right up into the wall. So our third yellow, and that was it. He kept on going. He never stopped. He never stopped. And the officials just decided to throw that yellow, and we all know why. Bunch to feel back up. You know, let him run wild. Alright, we'll see the results at the line. 
See how they line up? That will take you to overtime. Classic rules. So this is how they'll line up. There'll be 31 cars restarting. Be classic rules. Two laps. No yellow. And yeah, we'll now take you to overtime. Alright, here we go. Green-white checkered finish. Matthew Loken has led all but one lap. But he has dominated tonight's race. Pace car is in. Here we go. Everyone all tightly bunched up. Here we go. Green flag is out. A pretty even restart. The bottom three really get going. The six doesn't. In the turn one. 89's all over him. Opening the door. Three wide. Three wide for the race lead. Contact back there. Crashing behind. Crashing. We keep going. The 9 and the 89. The 5 slides up in front of the 02. White flag is out. One more time around. Here comes the 35 on the bottom. The 9 car overshoots the corner. The 5 leans on the 02. Dick Wilden and the 5 car in the wall. Sam and Oscan around. The 35 is there on the bottom. The 9 up top. The 02 trying to take it. Slow car on the bottom. Checkered flag is out at the line. I don't know who got that. And it's the 9 car. By one hundredth of a second. Wow. What an end that was. Oh, and a heartbreaker for the 0-2 of Matthew Logan. You have a win taken away. By a green-white checkered finish. You'll see the forward results first. So, an unbelievable end to that one. The 9-car snow chaser wins. It uh, looks like it's actually six thousandths of a second. The uh, little standings there just to round it out. Round it out. Uh, Matthew Logan in third. Dick Wall Jr. fourth. Blake Peters fifth. Nathan Norman sixth. David Davidson seventh. The 01 eighth. Stephen Oaks ninth. And Rain Dancer tenth. Here's the rest of the race results. My God. Let's take a look at all that, all the chaos before we take you to victory lane. Uh, these guys are just everywhere. Look at them. They're bumping and banging, pushing, shoving. Looks like it started with the 07, those was the first wreck. And then back there they just all wrecked. And look at that 51 car from the second wreck and the 57. A lot of hard hits. It was clean all night long and then green white checker has to happen and destroyed a lot of good race cars. And you know these late model teams, they don't win a lot of uh, money here. Or NR 2003 digital money. Right on board with Frodo Marotz in the 51, he was in 8th. Yeah, 7 bounces off the wall, bounces off the 6 into the wall again. And the 51 goes straight into the safer barrier. Tagged the 01 car, to, and then it just became one big wreck. Look at all these cars piling in. Got a few cars up in the air, but no one flipped over, luckily. But a lot of hard hits, a lot of wreck race cars. Very good. And yeah, that's a classic ISCR finish. Absolute madness and wildness, something that can't happen in real life because they would have thrown the yellow. Yeah. Then we see Sam and Oscan on the 5. Trying to ride the O2 up the racetrack. Contact with the 89. And then uh, they both go on the wall. He hit the lock up the brakes. Stickwell Jr. keeps on driving. So yeah, he lost a spot or two from that or probably more than that. Then there's the 35 Ben Crouch on the bottom. I thought he was going to take it because the 9 goes a little bit too high out of the groove. The O2. Think he might got a little loose. Oil spewing out. Yeah, I got a wrecked race car on the bottom. That might have caused the 35 to check up a little bit. Because he keeps on going. He spins out. And right there, that the 9 car picks up win number 1. And only in the second start. 35 car, almost. Almost got the Menard Chevy. That victory and... The 2 Matthew Logan, a heartbreaking third place finish. So no max points for him. So, only the second race in, we got ourselves a green-white checkered, big ones, and a photo finish. So yeah, very, very in a, se in a season. Okay, I don't know why I'm saying that, but okay. So it's a snow chaser with the win, we'll now take you to victory lane.